We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Toronto Blue Jays and the St. Louis Cardinals. It's Cardinals baseball next on the show. Jack Flaherty is on the mound for the Cardinals. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Two and one count to the Blue Jays first baseman and fellas we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight they did get the win last time out but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the bat rack. The count now at two and two. And the pitch. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Next to bat for Toronto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He did his part yesterday afternoon as he cashed in with three hits in the losing effort. The 1-1 home. Hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Striding in, Lourdes Guriel. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. And it's fouled away. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Blue Jays go down in order. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. No score. Hyunjin Ryu will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has really struggled coming into this game, right? The league is hitting just under 300 against this guy, and that's something he really needs to improve on. And it'll be interesting to see if that trend continues in this start here. At the play, Colton Wong. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Uh, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game, and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. The 3 1. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And don't forget, he lost his last time out. So he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Now the one and one pitch. Hit out towards second. The second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. The 
Now a moment here in St. Louis to look at the Cardinals starting lineup thoughts Dan who stands out. Well Matt they need Matt Carpenter to get back on track. He's coming off a month where he hit in the low 200s. I mean he barely put up any resistance at all. That's not what you expect for him and I'm sure he's working hard to try to figure it out and turn things around at the plate now Paul Goldschmidt hit hard to third and a sliding try there at third but it skips by him a base hit. Dan, I know you fight as an offensive player to get in a 3-1 count. What's the tension the level on the mound throwing Man. this guy a 3-1 heater? That's one of the things you don't want to do. You have a game plan when you go into this, and you're, the game plan normally is get ahead with strike one and make hitters expand the zone. 3-1, and one, not a good time to throw a fastball. To the plate now, Matt Carpenter. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to 1-2. and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And that's off the left field wall. Goldschmidt rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Man, this is a continuation of the great at-bats we saw in last night's game when they lit it up, seemingly scoring at will. Now that double brings in a run for an early lead here. They just keep on keeping on. So now to the plate, Yadier Molina, two and two to the Cardinals catcher. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Second inning coming up, and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well, Matt, it doesn't appear that we're going to get much of a break from this rain at all as the game progresses. However, I am also hearing that this rain isn't supposed to intensify too much. The grounds crew will be on standby just in case the umpires do call a delay, but the goal is to get this one in uninterrupted. Yeah, Heidi, and thanks. Even with all the technology that we have today to be able to forecast the weather accurately, one never knows what Mother Nature has in store. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Uh, throw not nearly in time, so despite the great effort, that'll go into the books as an infield single. Boy, there's a quality infield base hit right there. That kind of reminded me of the old Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter on that jump throw. Hey, that's why this is the pros. Back in the day, that's a knock all day long. But up here, guys are making those plays, at least making you think about them. That's an amazing play by the shortstop to leave his feet and at least make this close. Hernandez on at first, nobody out. In the air now, out to left field. O'Neill waits on it, one away. Batting fifth, the right fielder, number 15, Randall Gritchick. Here's Randall Gritchick. First swings for him in this one, with a runner still at first and one gone. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a 1 0 lead. He's running. Got him swinging the throw. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill.
Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Stepping in now, Lane Thomas. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. At the plate, Harrison Bader. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hernandez will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Down in order go the Cardinals. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Welcome back to Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals, who've proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. When it comes to their team ERA, they enter the day with one of the best in the league. And talking with some of the pitchers earlier, they mentioned how they've all been able to inspire each other this year. One said, every one of these guys seems to bring their best to the mound every single day, so that really motivates me to do the same. We hold each other to a pretty high standard, and that works for us. Clearly, it's a group that takes a ton of pride in what they do, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. And he lays off again, ball three. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. 3-2 pitch. Rolled slowly to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting it. The center field number 28. Billy McKinney. Stepping in for the Jays, Billy McKinney. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. Safe after the recovery throw. Good effort, but now we have to wonder whether or not he's going to be okay. Adam Wainwright is forced onto the mound now following the injury. Now pitching for the Cardinals. Number 50, Adam Wainwright. He 
Into the box now. Hyunjin Ryu tries to get the bunt down here, but this is fouled, and we'll see if he tries it again. Wainwright has compiled over 2,100 innings of work in his major league career, and over that time, he's punched out over 1,800 batters, placing him just outside the all-time top 100 on the strikeout list. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. The 1-1 one, one home. Line drive base hit. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. He hung that middle now of the that. plate. The batter's the eyes lit up, and he was able Vladimir to put good wood on it. Late now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. grounded back up the middle, and the throw to Wong, and the inning is over. Blue Jays leave a pair. It remains one nothing. So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Adam Wainwright. Cardinals pitcher up there with a one and two count. Takes this the other way to right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Colton Wong. The 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Counts even at 2-2 two and two to Wong. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. Now batting, good stop, Tommy Edmund. Stepping into the box, Tommy Edmund. Bases are empty here with two men out. On the ground to third. Reined in. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. One, two, three. Go the Cardinals. But they're on top. One to nothing. Riding into the box, Lourdes Guriel comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 2 and 1 on its way. Hey. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. All right, so time now for the Cardinals' road now to the battle. show report as we see a pair of prospects performing at a high level in the upper minors. To the plate now, to Oscar Hernandez. 
can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Tough pitch to lay off there but he did and it's even up at two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now three and two. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there he can take you deep too. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two now, away now. Second base. So into the box yeah. now. Bo Bichette. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety. And right now, this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt. And I don't know how much more rain this field can take. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Thomas at the track. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he is in the second with a two out double. When that one left the bat, I wasn't sure where it was going to come down. I thought it might have a chance. Yeah, same here, Matty. It kind of got lost high in the sky before it one hopped the fence for an extra base hit. During the daytime, that thing probably would have carried out of here, but you can't complain too much about a double. So now to the plate, Rendell Richard. Ripped on the ground to first. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now this guy's been throwing the ball great so far but it's going to be tested here four five and six coming up this part of the lineup pulled high in the air out to left field Hernandez is there and he'll bring this one in the third baseman number 13 Matt Carpenter The next to bat for St. Louis, Matt Carpenter. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. One out, nobody on. Strike taken up in the zone. That's fouled off to the left side as he makes him do it again. Three and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Giving chase is Hernandez. But he's not going to get there. And he's headed for extra bases again. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one. But I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game. And it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. In now, Yadier Molina, high in the air out to center field. McKinney's there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batting, no left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Into the box, Tyler O'Neill, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. It's up to a 3-2 full count now.
payoff pitch on its way. A swing and a miss for the third strike as he went after what would have been ball four. Instead, the inning is over. Cards leave one, but they lead it one to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Wainwright ready, the 1-1. One, one. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now back, the center fielder, Billy McKinney. So one away here with the bases empty. And in to hit next, the speedy Billy McKinney. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both a lefty and a right-hander have stood up. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Slow grounder to first. He's got it. And the toss goes to Wainwright at the bag for the out. The batter, the pitcher, Young Ryu. So bases are empty here with two gone. And so here's the pitcher now, Hunjin Ryu, the next to bat. A 1 1. Is laid off for ball two. And he popped him up. Goldschmidt in foul ground. But this will land untouched. Two out, nobody on. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Lifted into the air to shallow center. And Wong will make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They're down one nothing. Digging in, Lane Thomas looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Coming to the plate now, Harrison Bader. He flew out in his last at bat. for the punch out and the offering popped him up McGuire is under it one down up next to the Cardinals the pitcher Adam Wayne Wright Jairo Munoz please. is out of the dugout the now as it looks like he'll come on and hit Number for the pitcher Wayne Wright Jairo Munoz going pitch misses low the throw down is not close as he's in there with a stolen base 
Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, Nettie. The ball isn't carrying well tonight, and we haven't seen any home runs, so sometimes you have to try for something else. Now with seeing a single could be all it takes to push a run across. Little chopper back to the mound. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they still manage to get an out on the play. Whoa. Up next to the Cardinals. The second baseman. Fulton Wong will stand in. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Hopped up. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Boy, not much you can do with that one from a pitching standpoint. Dero makes a pretty good pitch, and somehow, someway, this guy's able to muscle one in for a base hit. Yeah, and you know what? Good job by the hitter right there, not trying to do too much. I know he got jam sandwich right there, but he was able to find some green grass and give himself a chance. At the plate, Tommy Edmond. Uh, the catcher wanted it down and they got him to chase it for strike two. And he fouls this one off. Two runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Now a swing and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Two hits here in the inning lead to a run for the Redbirds. Five innings complete. St. Louis is out in front, two to nothing. Your John Brebbia please. takes over to start now the sixth inning Lord on the mound. Martin. Number 60, John Brebbia. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Rowdy Tellez. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. High ties him up with a fastball inside, 1 and 2. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one hey that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count the next one two pitch oh, that's off the plate. Ball two. fouled off The 2 2 one more time. Catches the corner, got him looking. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has now looked sharp and it backed up a nice beat. effort turned in by the Black starter. Uh, these days, pitching Jr. has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Into the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Now he sends a routine fly ball out to straightaway center. Thomas is there two gone the bat number 13 shortstop Lourdes Guriel so coming to the plate Lourdes Guriel he went down on strikes last time up well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. On a line, that's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. At 
at the plate now to Oscar Hernandez. The one two. Hits are even right now at five aside. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. O'Neill looks up. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. It's a two run shot to straight away left. 12 home runs for him now thus far as the Blue Jays have rallied back to tie it at two. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette. A ball and two strikes the count now with the bases empty and two away. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. I guarantee you at release point he wanted to pull this pitch back change up now, middle of the plate usually gets Rainbow. deposited in the seats. To the plate now Randall Gritcher one and two now as that one's fouled off. the belt kicks and deals chopper to short oh and he can't pick it up cleanly nice effort by the shortstop right there kept it in front of him that's a, that's all he could do right there Dan you know dealer in a spot like that that's an infield single that's a tough play just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job but any way you look at it that should be scored a base hit and I'm sure it was so now to the plate Reese McGuire now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now a ball hit hard to the left side a leaping try but it's out of his reach and into the outfield and the go ahead runs in to score as they break the tie it's three to two. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Genesis Cabrera trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Into the box now, Billy McKinney. Line drive to left. O'Neill is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's now three to two, Toronto. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. With just one hit with runners in scoring position in the game, you can understand why he feels that way. But he also says he likes the way his guys are responding to the adversity. It seems as though they're keeping their energy and mood up. So we'll see if they can start coming through with some big hits as we go forward. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now 
Here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. The third baseman, number 16, Matt Carpenter. And now the Cardinals' number four hitter, Matt Carpenter. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Ready to deliver the one and two. Ball left up there. Three twos our score here in inning number six. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's That's over in the other four. league, and it's really showing. He's pitching really well right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. Into the box, Yadier Molina. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And here's Gritchuk to make the catch, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals. They're down three to two. Seventh inning ready to roll, and set to stand in is the veteran pitcher, Hyunjin Ryu. Now the one and one pitch. Cool, that's inside. Yep, that ball went out. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Good battle. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. And he misses with it. Ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked a pitcher leading things off. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Ready for another shot now. Rowdy Tellez is working on a one for three thus far. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. At the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. A ball and two strikes. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw to third. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move up from second to third. 
Now that was so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. In now to Oscar Hernandez. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Blue Jays leave a pair. They're up three to two. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Tyler O'Neill. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. One two is an off-speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Lane Thomas waits on deck. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim lead. And the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound. And that will be the last we see in this one of Hunjin Ryu. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Jordan Romano comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Jordan Romano. Lane Thomas will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. Romano, a six foot four inch right hander, he's a second year big leaguer. Nobody out, runner on first. Quick check on that tying run at first. Don't want to forget about it. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 48. In now, Harrison Bader. No hits to this point. Now the one and one pitch. 
He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Runners on first with one down. Fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Classic down slider back. down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Paul DeYoung will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 11. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals. Still a 3-2 ball game. Ryan Helsley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 56, Ryan Helsley. Coming to the plate now, Bo Bichette. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Line drive to left. O'Neill is there and he has it for the out. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. Cutter got up on him pretty quickly there, and it's back to even two and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate now, Reese McGuire. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Blue Jays go down in order, but they still lead it 3-2. to two. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Anthony Bass will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Danny Jansen is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. In prior meetings against Anthony Bass, he's a perfect two for two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pop commit, and bury that inside. It leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. 
Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. Popped him up. Guriel over to his right. One out. The batter, not shortstop, Tommy Edmund. Digging in the switch hitter, Tommy Edmund. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Here's the one and one delivery. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three balls and a strike to the Cardinal shortstop. On deck, the powerful right-handed bat of Paul Goldschmidt. The 3-1. And strike two, swinging. Sure took a healthy hack that time. fly ball out to straightaway center. McKinney's there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now back, first baseman, Paul Goldsmith. Digging in, Paul Goldschmidt. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Justin Miller enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Number 60, Justin Miller. Matt Carpenter will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Bichette picks it up cleanly. Oh, not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Yanni Molina digging in now. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Man, the Redbirds, they've been struggling all game long. They've yet to been able to get that big hit. This is the time for the big hit for the Redbirds. The 1-2 pitch. Fastball well outside. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Hit weakly back to the mound. On to first. And the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Hard strand a couple. They trail three to two. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. 
Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for route number one. Now batting, number nine. So striding in, Danny Jansen. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. One run game here in the top of the ninth. A little early and now it's even at two and two. And it's fouled away. Now another two two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. The 3-2 pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine-hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now batter, number 44. Now at the plate, Rowdy Tellez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. So he sets him down swinging. Rowdy Tellez goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So now to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hit high and deep to right center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One left for Toronto, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Ken Giles is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Number 51, Ken Giles. Leading off the inning, Tyler O'Neill, and they'll need him to get something going here. Two-two, here it is. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. Digging in now, Lane Thomas. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play and he fouls this one off got him and that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one well you have to feel pretty confident about the way like this one's going to end up as a manager Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. At the plate, Harrison Bader. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Three, Full count now, three and two. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate in a one-run game. He doesn't want to walk it, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. 
Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Fouled off. A bouncer up the middle. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. And now you might start wondering about a pinch hitter. If that's the case, here's what the Redbirds have left on the bench. Dexter Fowler will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. A runner on first with two away. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they lead the possible tying run stranded at first. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Toronto Blue Jays wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Hyunjin Ryu with his fourth win this season. Ken Giles closes the door for the save, his 15th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Three runs on ten hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For St. Louis, two runs, seven hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 51 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.